Hey everyone, I'm Dre Fortune from North Carolina FC. Today I'll be reading a book for Read and Feed. I'll be reading one of my favorites, Bugs by Emily Bone. There are all kinds of different bugs. Some bugs can jump up high, like grasshoppers. Other bugs have lots of legs, like caterpillars and centipedes. Lots of bugs have wings, they fly around, like butterflies and beetles. Some bugs don't have any legs or wings, like worms. Some bugs catch other bugs to eat. A spider builds a web from sticky silk. In here there's a picture of a golden orb weaver spider and a moth. A moth gets stuck in the web. The spider eats it. There's the spider, there's the moth. Trapdoor spiders hide in burrows. The spider spots a bug. It jumps out of its burrow and grabs the bug. So that's how they grab their food. Bees and butterflies feed on flowers. There's a sweet juice inside flowers called nectar. They suck out nectar with their long tongues. Some bugs build nests. Wood ants make big nests from twigs and grass. The ants carry the pieces one at a time. They dig long tunnels under the ground as well. Young ants grow up in the tunnels. There's a picture of the ants' nest and the ants in the tunnels down there. Bees make nests too. Honeybees make nests from wax. The nests have lots of little holes called cells. A queen bee lays eggs in the cells. The young bees hatch out. Worker bees feed them with honey. And there's a picture of the queen bee down there. Some bugs look like other things. A giant leaf insect looks like a leaf. And stick insects look like twigs on trees. So there's a leaf insect, and there's the stick one. Orchid mantises look like orchid flowers. Dead leaf butterflies hide in brown leaves. So there's the mantis right here, and there's the dead leaf butterfly down there. Some bugs are very big. The atlas moth is the biggest flying bug. And then here's a picture of it in real life. And this is an atlas moth caterpillar. So they're caterpillars before they turn into butterflies. Some bugs sting or bite, like scorpions. Scorpions can sting to catch food. Some caterpillars have stinging spines. This stops them from being eaten. Stag beetles have big jaws. They use their jaws to fight other beetles. Slugs and snails don't have any legs. Their slimy bodies help them to slide along. There's a slug. And there's a snail. And that's the trail they leave behind. Snails have shells. They can hide their bodies inside their shells. Snails and slugs eat the leaves of plants. Bugs have babies. They look after them in different ways. Wolf spiders carry their babies on their backs. Shield bugs guard their babies under their bodies. Leaf beetles lay legs on leaves, and the babies hatch out and eat the leaves. Ants carry their babies when they move their nest. A butterfly lays eggs on a plant. 
A caterpillar hatches from an egg. It eats the plant. It grows bigger and bigger. Its skin turns into a hard case. Its body changes inside the case and it becomes a butterfly. Some bugs live in water. Pond skaters balance on the surface of water. Great diving beetles dive underwater to catch food. So there's the beetle, and there's the pond skater. Water spiders live in webs under the water. The web has air inside. The spider breathes the air. It comes out to catch food. So there's a picture of it catching a shrimp. Other bugs grow up underwater. A dragonfly lays its eggs on a plant. Young dragonflies hatch out. They are called nymphs. They live underwater. A nymph crawls out of the water. It breaks out of its skin and becomes a dragonfly. It flies away to find food. So there's a picture of the old skin and what it turns into. Lots of bugs come out at night. Some moths come out to find partners. Fireflies have bodies that glow in the dark. Cicadas make a loud chirping noise. Most bugs can't live when it gets cold. Some find ways to stay warm. Monarch butterflies fly to a place that has warmer weather. Snails crawl under stones. This keeps them warm. Young beetles live in the warm ground. In the spring, most bugs come out again. An adult chafer beetle lives for just two weeks. Okay, so, Discussion time. So what was the book about? The book was about the different types of bugs, how they survive, how they eat, how they grow, and the climates that they like living in. What are some of the important facts you read about? Well, we discussed how butterflies lay eggs and then caterpillars come out and caterpillars slowly turn into butterflies again. Or how certain butterflies only like living in warm climates and they fly away when it gets cold. What did you learn? For me, I think the fact about the butterfly was my favorite part. I also thought it was cool how ants live in the little tunnels as they grow up until they get older and then they crawl out. Lastly, I think if I could be a bug, I'd probably be a butterfly. Butterflies have really nice wings and I think it would be pretty cool to fly. Thanks for reading with me guys.